culture, hasn't it? Most definitely. Uh, I would say on the world. You know, I think reggae music is the most played music over the world. You know, because everywhere you go now, you, you have a band playing ska or rock steady or reggae music, right? You have the sound system, sound system all over the world. You know, in Europe, so much sound. You know, you have sound system coming into Jamaica now to play against Jamaican sound. If Japanese, you know, Italian, French, German, big sounds all over the place now. You know, and they are challenging Jamaican sound system. So, Jamaica music has a big influence all over the world. Why do you think that is? It's because of the, 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 the music. You know, the beat and the lyrical content as well. You know, like for instance, the, the, the revolutionary side of the music, the roots music, is, it, it relates to the poor people. And poor people is the majority of people in the world. You know, so everyone that is feeling the pinch, they can relate to reggae music. You know, we're not talking about the, the slack part of the music or the, you know, the, the raggedy lyrics that comes along sometimes. We're talking about the good lyrics, you know, people like Bob Marley, you know, Burning Spear, you know, all those um, cultural music that they, 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 they sing, you know. People can relate to that all over the world, you know, so reggae music have a big influence in people's life. And all those conscious guys of the mid-90s, like Luciano, um, I mean, like, Yeah, Luciano, Tony Rebel, Garnet, Silk and all those yeah, people yeah. that was bringing back the music, you know. And people in the past like Peter Tosh, Bonnie Whale and all those people, you know. Yeah, a lot of people that was um, doing good music, you know. But unfortunately, in everything you have the, the, the bad seeds. What do you think to it now, Jamaica, the music comes out of Jamaica now? Jamaica music was always um, good, you know, but like I say, in everything, you have the good and the bad, you know. Jamaican artists has improved a lot over the years, right? If they only clean up their lyrical content, everything will be just on the up. You know, the only thing that is dragging about the music sometimes is just the, the, the lyrical content of the music, you know. You about the slackness? Or yes, slackness and, and the violent yeah. part of the music. I mean, that's not, we ain't gonna get nowhere with that. You know, people go to enjoy themselves. You know, music is enjoyment. It's all about enjoyment. Music is love. You know, you go to and after you do your nine to five, you know, and at the end of the week and you want to unwind, you want to hear something <laughs> soothing to the mind. You don't want to hear no, no, nothing to disturb your peace. You know what I'm saying? When we started listening to music, we started to listen to love songs, right? And protest songs, you know, but in a good manner, you know, not people fighting on each other and well, that's wrong. I did not know that you love I so but since you love I since you love I since you love I I'm gonna love you gonna love you gonna chill you El wow yeah. there's always this beat a beat is shooting at the beanie man gig I'm always shocked. Yes because you see at the end of the day you know if um if you preach violence Violence is going to follow you, uh -huh. you know, because some of the artists, them, violence follow them wherever they go, you know, because that, that's the, the, the audience that they are catering to. You know, we talk about all these, you know, sh shot people and, you know, it's, it's not the right message you're sending out. So these things will happen. In my days, people worship artists, you know, if you walk on the street, you, you get so much respect. People wouldn't think of hurting an artist. And I see it reach a stage where artists have been shot. You know? A lot. Yeah, you have people like Dirtsman, Paned, and all them people, you know, major worries. And 
a few others lost their life. You know, um, that you never you see about those kind of things, you know, people worship artists in Jamaica. But because of the, the way or the artist them was putting across their lyrics, you know, there was inciting violence. You know, and unfortunately it turned around on some of them. You know. That's, right, right, sends rap music as well. Yes, because you see the America the America side of it is um really violent, you know, all these guys um, portray themselves, you know, you know, their, their approach, you know, the expression on their face and, you know, I don't know what, <laughs> I don't know what they're thinking, you know. Music's supposed to be <laughs> about entertaining and enjoyment, but they're taking it to a lower level, unfortunately, you know. You could have run, run, run. I mean, do you think yourself as a like yourself, the likes of Rico, Rodriguez, Owen Gray, you know, Tony Washington, Sash Dixon, you know, all these people, do you think yourselves as kind of pioneers? Well, we are pioneers. You know, we are definitely pioneers. I can remember when I made my first record and I told someone that I make a record, right? And they said, um, what did you do? You sing? I said, no. Did you play an instrument? I said, no. <laughs> so what did you do? <laughs> I said, I talk. I said, man can't talk for record. <laughs> I said, it's DJing, you know. I said, what is DJing? You know what I mean? So, dear, it, it, it goes to show that uh, people wasn't too aware of what DJing was all about. You know, around about them times. So we are the pioneers. We are, we are the ground breakers. We are the ones who walk and the maca, as we'd say, and get joke until the road is paved for the rest of them. Who follows, you know? Right now, I'm, I'm working now more than ever because people want to see us. They're the creator of the music. You know, I'm all over the place, you know, working, right? I never used to work so much when I started out, you know? So there's a lot of interest there, you know? Who do you think are the unsung heroes of Jamaican music in London? I mean, that people don't really give respect to in the way that perhaps they should. There's great Jamaican musicians living here people don't really know about. There are, aren't there? A lot of them. A lot of them. Because, um, like, my work continues. Jamaican people don't know what we are doing here, apart from the, the, the hardcore music lovers, you know, like promoters and someone who promoters them. But there's a lot of great artists that is living in this country. You know, you have people like Winston Francis, Owen Gray, and recently Alton before he passed away. Um, Dave Barker from Dave and Ansel Collins, right? Quite a few. I can't remember all of them at the moment, you know, People like Owen Prince Miller as well, you know, who I used to watch doing stage shows when I was in Jamaica, right? Jimmy James, you know, a lot of the, 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 the real cause, the, the pioneers are still in England, you know, but their um, work is not highlighted because um, they're not living in Jamaica because there, there's a stigma. When you're living in London, you know, people will buy the record them that is coming from Jamaica more than they would buy the, the record that made in London. You know, and this is a, a stereotype thing that's been going on for years and years. You know, unfortunately. But some good records make here. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, there's always this view that kind of Jamaican artists, you know, records that they make here aren't as good as the Jamaican stuff. Well, also, even the stuff in New York, made in New York, it's not as good as the Jamaican stuff. Right. Not necessarily true. No, not necessarily true, but you see, it's, it's like a, a prejudice, you know, in the record industry towards the, the, the foreign reggae and the Jamaican reggae. Snobbishness, actually. You, you know, but we have to give credit where credit is due. The music that make in Jamaica 
is, is far better than the music that make here, the, the reggae music. Because of the, I think, because of the studio sound, for one, um, the engineers who's got a ear for the music, you know, because I notice a lot of music that, that make in England, right? If you put on a record on the turntable from Jamaica and you put on one after it from England, you're going to have to turn up the volume. You know, a lot of people complain about that, you know, so, it, so there's a difference, you know, but still good music make here and also in America. Because a lot of people don't know that some of Bob Marley music was made here. If you did tell them that, they wouldn't want to know. <laughs> yeah. Prince must have make a lot of tunes here mm. that hit Jamaica. If you told them that, they would be prejudiced against it. But they didn't know that, you know, so. Good music make here, you know, good music make all over the world. You know, as long as you got the, 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 the good musicians. Did you play with Rico in, uh, in Brixton a few months ago? I did a cameo did thing with, with him, sorry. yes, yeah, at yeah, the, the Utanani. Yeah, sorry. Yes, but before that we were in Holland. We did a big show in Holland, me and him and um, Winston Francis and uh, Winston Reedy and I, I also brought in Charlie Arganier. Charlie from way back when that, that plays the harmonica. Yeah, I um, invited him over to join us. It was a lovely show and a good experience. You know, I, I don't know if you heard about Charlie Arganier. No, all of the harmonica that you hear and all them sketch on. Prince Buster, Derek Morgan, uh, uh, Toots and the Maids have uh, got a, a song called Six and Seven Book of Moses. Oh, you, if you hear the solo on that, Six and Seven Book, that's Charlie. You know, every session when I was growing up, that was um, in Jamaica at the time, Charlie was on it. He was a moss, you know, so all of them sketch on. You can hear the motor organ, what we call it, harmonica. And he lives over here? No, he lives in Chicago. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. He lives, lives in Al Capone town. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we're kind of... So the spotlight now shines on the brother called Delroy Wilson, right? And it's a version one or version two, you know? And next week, Saturday night, all road lead to the place called Chisholm Avenue, there and 